InkProducts.com has now released the ultimate refill kit for Canon's new 241 and 240. Also, there are 211 and 210 cartridges. In our refill kit, we're going to give you the correct ink to use in those cartridges, fast-acting printhead cleaner, soaking tray, you're going to get our new snap and vac for the color and the black. We'll explain in the video and show how that works. Also, the purge syringe and all the other parts and pieces that are required to fill those cartridges. Plus, color photo, printed instructions, and this video. So whether you have the newer printer, which is the 241 or 240 cartridge, or you have the older one, which is a 211, 210, you're going to be able to fill either one. Now the best way to set these printers is to use best print. Even though you're refilling, if you do that, the print head on the cartridge itself will last a lot longer. If you try to do um, draft or something like that, all you're going to do is burn up the print head. Now that you can refill them successfully using our snap and back, then run it in better quality. The print head on that cartridge will triple. You'll be able to keep it a lot longer and refill it a lot longer. Now I set up the print and I set it on high quality plain paper. This is the printing. Fill it and do it like this. If you do it, if you just run it on draft or, or, or low quality or text, you're going to burn the print head up. If you do what I tell you to do, then the print head will last a lot longer. It runs the printer a little slower, but actually the print head will last longer. Now the ink we're going to supply you is a pigmented black, laser black, just like can because we've added an additive so it can't clog or, or um, jam up the print head. Now the colors, this is our ultra true color. There again, we've added that additive so it won't clog your print head. We've been doing this for almost 20 years, and we test every product we sell. And then as soon as we get a code, then we're going to show you how to fill it, show you how to purge it or vacuum it, and how to shut off the ink monitor. Because you don't need the ink monitor. If you pay attention, use common sense, you'll be able to fill this cartridge many, many times. Okay, now you can see the color cartridge is empty and needs to be replaced. Now we're going to refill them, and we're going to refill the black cartridge at the same time. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, after you do it, the ink levels will not come back up, but we're going to shut off the ink monitor so you can continue to keep printing. Okay, now we'll open it up. The cartridges come over. And now I can take them out, and then we're going to show you how to refill them. Now these are the 241 and the black 240. Remember the 211 and 210 and all the rest of the can of cartridges that look similar to this are going to be filled the same way. Now here's the first snap and back for the black. Now the little base is it's open up more here because the black is a longer nozzle. And then here's the color. Okay, now I want you to pay close attention because you're going to have to 
push it in and then lock it in because we want a good seal right here. So you're going to push down and then lock it in. Okay, now that I put it into the snapping back, I always use a couple of rubber bands to hold it on tight. Because when I go to draw from here, I want that to be real tight against the seal here. So then when I go to put it in, I can pull down and I can feel the pressure. If I don't feel any pressure, then it's not going to work. Now I'm using a little exacto knife here to peel the label off. Take your time, peel it off. Now you're going to see one, two, three little holes. That's where you're going to be filling. Now do you need to put the label back on? No. You can keep that off. So you got three little holes. Now we're going to give you a finger drill where you're going to drill that hole a little bit bigger and be able to inject in the sponge below. Get in the center of it and then using the finger drill we're going to drill right through that little hole. So take your time. Okay, now I've drilled into the cartridge all three holes and I've marked it the one to the extreme right is yellow, cyan, which is blue, and magenta is the top one. Now on the black, we're going to peel the label off. As you can see, in the black, it's easy. There's only one fill hole. So you would take, put the drill in, the center of it, drill take it. your time, and drill it right in. There. Now you can take the label off also, and you can put it to the side. You don't need the label on anymore, but I put it there as reference. Now you can fill up the syringe and go in, fill up all the colors, and then use a larger one to fill the black. Now I take an old box and I put my bottles down and I draw a circle around them. I'm going to do them all. This way it holds the bottle while I'm doing my refilling. Just use common sense. That's all it says. Common sense. There you go. I'm going to take a little X-Acto knife or razor blade, and I'll cut out those circles. I've already done my black one. Now it's going to sit in that box, so when I'm refilling, I don't have to worry about knocking that over. I use my little X-Acto knife or any type of knife, and I cut it like a pizza. <clears throat> this way, I can push this in and put the bottle in this in here to hold it. This way, that'll hold that bottle. There. Do them all the exact same way. Just draw a circle. Make some slices. Take your time. And that will hold the bottle. Now I'm going to refill all the colors. I'll start with the cyan first, unscrew the cap. There's usually an inner seal. Peel that off. Get that out of your way. That protects it from leaking when we ship it. You gotta take that off of there.
Uh, that's why we give you rubber gloves, so you won't get any ink on your fingers. But I'm going to go in with the syringe. I'm going to pull up. Now you want to have some paper towel handy so you can wipe everything off. Now I'm going to go right into the cyan, right into the sponge, and slowly add. Take your time. The slower you go, the better the refill will work. Took that one. Now you're going to be able to put more ink in than came with the cartridge. Wipe it off. Go back in. Now that was six milliliters. That's the most they put in the cartridge. But we're going to add some more so we don't have to refill as often. Take your time. Now what you're looking for is a little ink to bubble out the top. See, like that. See that? Just start to bubble out. So I'm going to stop, back off just a little bit, and put the rest back in there. Wipe that off. That was it. That chamber is now filled. Now, do not wash out these syringes. Pay no attention to this on the side. Discard after use. These are veterinarian syringes. You can use them over and over again, but if you were using blood, you'd have to throw it away. So you're not. So don't throw them away. Don't wash them out because you'll damage the little inner seal. They're fine, just like this. If you want to remember what color that was, just take a marker. C for cyan. Simple. Keep it simple. Use common sense. Now go and fill up all the other colors. Okay, now that we filled it, we're going to put it in the snapping vac, which it's already in, and then we're going to purge all the color. Just want to point this out. This has to lay flat against that seal. So if you push it back too far, you might not be able to get a good seal. Then you want to put this in the bottom, like that, and then you can pull down. You're going to feel a lot of resistance. If it's not in, it's just going to pull down and fill with air. So I already feel the resistance. Just need a little, not a lot. Now I can take it out. You're going to see all the colors. I'll get another paper towel. I'm going to show you. Okay, now, when I put it down, I want to see three colors. i got my yellow, my red, and my blue, which is yellow, magenta, cyan. So this is filled, ready to go. Now we can put it back in the printer, turn off the ink monitor, and then we're going to keep filling it every so often. In other words, if you start to see it print light, take it out and fill it. Or if you're going to do a big print job, fill it before you do the print job. That print head will last a long time. That cartridge will last a long time if you set it for best printing. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill up the syringe, the black syringe, paper towel, wipe it off. I'm going to go into the center hole, push it all the way down, and slowly add the black ink. Slowly. Give it a second for the ink to be absorbed in the sponge below. If you go too quick, the ink's going to come right back up. Now that was my first. Here goes my second one now. Black cartridge will hold a lot more ink than was supplied with it when you purchased it. 
or when it came with the printer. You're starting to see a little bubble. There it is. Then back off. Draw some ink out. Return it. Wipe that off. On the cartridge, some of them don't seal very well back here. So I'm using a rubber band to help hold it really tight. So if you if you can't pull a vacuum, then you use a rubber band like this. Then you can go up inside, and then you'll be able to pull down. See? See the bubbles coming down? Same thing applies to the color. You want to make sure that's locked in to that snapping back. And this is a secure way of doing it. little rubber band over the top. Because there's so many cartridges, some fit, some don't fit. So this is the way we make it work. Okay, now after doing a deep clean, after filling, we do the novel test. Sometimes you got to do one or two cleans. There you go. Perfect. That's what you want. You can fill the cartridge anytime you want. So if you're going to do a big print job or print a lot, go in and fill the cartridge. You don't always have to use the snapping back. But you need to keep ink in the cartridge. The more ink you keep in that cartridge, the better it will print. And there again, your print settings should always be set on best. Okay, sometimes after refilling, you're going to get this error code to come up. Just say, OK. And then it will allow you to continue to print. OK, now I got the X. And I got the E code. And I got this on the screen. Now we're going to go over and shut off the ink monitor for that color cartridge. And then soon we'll be shutting off the black one. Now we're going to hold down the stop button. Going to keep flashing E. One six for the color. I'm holding it down and I'm going to let go. Do that twice. And then it's going to go through its little motion and it's going to shut off that color. So the first time you press down on the stop button, it's going to still blink with that little code. Let go. And now the color cartridge ink monitor will be shut off. Then you're going to do the same thing with the black. Now you can see there's nothing under the color. That means because I sh shut off the ink monitor. Now the next one is going to be the black. You're going to do the same thing. It takes sometimes you got to push down on that stop button, release it, and push it down again. Now, after shutting down the ink color, I'm still printing color. I'm still printing black. So you got to use common sense. Fill the cartridges often, and they'll last a real long time. If you run them out too many times, you'll burn them out. You'll have to buy another cartridge. Our refill kit can save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars.